What was that? Alrighty, we're here making progress on the electricity. Tyler's getting ready to hook it up for me. Check out the trench. Still got it bagged up. We got quite a bit of rain this week, which has slowed this down again. He's got that all buried over there. Got it all ran up nicely. don't know that I'm going to be able to stay here by Christmas after all because it's about to freeze right before Christmas. Wind chill zero to five degrees. So I think I may just wait till next week because this is Texas and by next week the temp is going to be back to 75 degrees. I swear Texas weather is indeed a neurotic mess. We also got the wall-mounted toilet in the other day and unboxed it. Looks pretty interesting. The tank for it goes in the wall. Like so. I think that's going to be cool. And low maintenance. Got it on this end. Getting close. Oh, it looks so nice and neat now with the thingamajig on. Excited. All right. Now he's got to hook up this end. Because I upgraded everything I could, this actually came with quite a few plugs and switches already done. Front porch. There's a plug down there in the bedroom. One over here in the bedroom, because I'm going to put a window AC there for Texas summer. There's one over there under that window. These are going to have to be moved. One in the bathroom. That one is for the dryer, but it's going to have to be moved because we're going to put the washer and dryer over here now. So we'll have to move that one. There's a light fixture up there in the ceiling of the bedroom. And no fixture, but there is a plug right there in the living room, or a place for a fixture, rather. And then there's a plug for the PTAC unit. Can't wait to see if, how that thing heats this place up. A plug there. Switches for the back door lights. I got plugs here, here, here. And 
next to the kitchen sink, the GFCI or whatever that is. I don't know if there are any, there might be one down here. No, looks like we're gonna have to add one down in that area. And of course add some in the bathroom because those walls aren't up. But I think that's gonna be super helpful having all those plugs and switches done, less for us to do on this end. I mean, I paid for it, but it's, it's worth it. Less work on this end. I mean, I know it's all for a reason, but dang, that wire is so awkward. Yeah, no. doesn't help it, much either. it looks difficult. As soon as this electricity is on, I'm tempted to come up here and bring Roman and spend the night just to say I did it. If it wasn't going to hard freeze tomorrow, I probably would. I mean, the house would be warm, but like I said, if we get any precipitation and there's ice on the road, then I'm stuck. Yeah. After all that, it looks so pretty though. Nice and neat. Yee. Okay. Yeah, there's nothing on in the house. That I'm sitting here waiting for music to play, light to come on. <laughs> what was that? I gotta label everything. Oh, fuck! That was a little spark. I saw a little spark. Yep. So what is that? I'm not
This one shouldn't cause issues. This should be okay. This should. And now this one shouldn't cause problems. Is it working? Not there. It was at this point we realized there was more than one problem. We found a wrong plug on a 220 wire and other breakers were still tripping, so we decided to stop and call Dirksen and get them to come out and look at it and fix it. Of course, being that Christmas is only a couple days away, this is going to push this part of the project into next week.